brake pads are ultra super important if you're going to the track. I sell people street pads for the street, track pads for the track, and never the twain shall meet because your operating temperature on the street is way less than operating temperature on the track. And brake pads, brake pad compounds, there's three elements to it. It's heat, friction, and wear. And you take a, like a street pad that's designed to run under 500 degrees and you go on track and you have eight, 900 degrees, all of a sudden the, the friction will go down and your wear will go up. And I've seen too many times, I've seen people show up for the first track day with stock brakes and some of them don't even make it through the morning before they burn their brakes up or you go on that straight away, they can't stop and they run off the track. So I mean, brake pads are super important. And like the, I know there's a lot of people who try to get away with uh, like the like high performance street brake pads. Uh, well, that's, if, if it's your first time, maybe you might get by with it if you're not really using the brakes. But you start using the brakes, it's not gonna work because they only go up, the compounds only go up to about 800 degrees. And like I say, my cars, I'm running 1200 degrees of rotor temperature. And I need a brake pad that's gonna be, the, the medium uh, operating range has gotta have, be somewhere in the middle and the pads, I, I use, that use a, a 400 to 1600, like in a Hawk, or the, the newer pads that we're using, I'm really, really happy with the g -locks. I'll get something that's like 1800 degrees and starts at 200 degrees. So it's a really broad range. And we can actually get those brake pads pre-bedded. You don't have to waste the whole second.